Hi, this is Alex from the Chicago Music Exchange. Today I'm going to talk you through the Barbershop Overdrive from Fairfield Circuitry, which is a wonderful Canadian company. Um, this is a really interesting pedal. It's, it looks like a fairly standard overdrive in that we've got uh, a drive knob and a volume knob, uh, but what makes this pedal really special is this knob here in the middle, which they label SAG. Um, if it's wide open, it acts like any other overdrive. Uh, just a volume and a drive, uh, colors your tone. It's um, kind of a tweed-ish drive if you've got it set that way, but what makes this really interesting is as you draw that knob back in the middle, it starves the voltage uh, to the drive section. So if you run it cleaner, you can draw that back and it ends up being a very amp-like, uh, very responsive overdrive. So the way I use this personally, I have one of these on my board, is to uh, run it through a clean amplifier uh, at a, f a low to medium volume. So the amp isn't really coloring your sound so much, which these days, most amps, if they're higher gain, that's how we have to run them anyway. And I run this little guy right in front uh, with a sag knob about halfway down so that it's a lot more responsive to my pedals. So you can take something like a twin that just gives you this very, very good, very clean, sparkly tone, and you can use this to make it uh, react more like a lower wattage amplifier. Uh, so today we're going to try it with a Strat, we're going to try it with a Les Paul, put it through the paces, and we'll show you guys how it works. So I've got a Jam Pedals Tube Dreamer 58, which is a Tube Screamer style overdrive set to medium gain. I've got that run in front of the barbershop, and I'm going to play a little bit on that and click the barbershop on about halfway through. Show you guys how they react with each other. So here we go with just the Jam. Here we go with the barbershop. So now we're going to try it with some humbuckers. This is just a new Les Paul standard out of the box. I have to modify the settings a little bit on the pedal since humbuckers are higher output. So I've got the volume at about 3, the sag at 2, and the drive at about 9 o'clock. So what we're going for here is to give this twin, which is set at a pretty low volume, more of a vintage tweed kind of sound. So here's the bypass tone straight through the twin. And here's the barbershop. Dude, you killed it. Good? That was great.